was okay. I mean, I didn't, I didn't play particularly well. I only hit 11 greens, which is um, I don't really like it. Uh, but you know, I, I hung in there. You know, I, I played the last few holes and uh, in the last six holes and three under par. So you know, I was happy with, with you know how I finished and. It puts me in a decent position for tomorrow. Yeah, what's your mindset? Obviously, Strick is the guy to catch right now, but anything can happen. Anything can happen, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to go out tomorrow and try and shoot a good number, and that's all That's all I can do. I mean, you know, he, I don't know if he's 13 or 14 or whatever he is at the minute. Um, I just got to try and go out there and play better golf than I did today, and you know, he should have a number. Do you find you? yourself looking at the leaderboard? I mean, obviously, he's... You know, a couple eagles on the front, a hole in one yesterday. He's playing really well, but I mean, as a competitor, when you see a guy going like that, what does that do to your juices and whatever? Um, not much. I mean, you obviously you're taking bounces at the leaderboard. You're looking at he's going uh, you know, quite a lot on the par, but you, know, you just have to sort of judge for yourself how you're doing in the tournament and the guys around you. And, you know, uh, even though I didn't play my best stuff out there today, I'm still in a, in a decent position going into tomorrow, and that's all you can ask for. Miss a short 40 foot to the three. So do you yeah. take that to the 50 or? No, I mean, again, I mean, it's, uh, I think it's either a hard six or a half point. We can like this sort of five iron up in the air and try to five and then five ball and kind of like lift it and just make a horrible swing. So, but you feel comfortable with the way you've handled, uh, you know, any level of swing that's going on? Yeah, 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 exactly. I mean, you know, I missed that point three, but it was a good putt. I mean, I hit it yeah. back there. I wanted it. It's been a fail, you know, this week mentally. I think it's been pretty good, you know, for, for me just the whole thing. You know, I haven't I only had 11 rings today. I only had 12 this year. You must not like me, so to be able to have a good game in a good shape and be able to make it a big part of it too. And, and, you know, pretty good. Cool. As long as it strikes you, right? a couple of tough holes, 16, 17, 18. Will that make it difficult to try and catch people? Yeah, definitely. I mean, 16. Brutal. I mean, the greens so much firmer than the, than the rest of the greens on the course. So you're probably going to go 10 or 15 yards past the pin. Uh, yeah, 17 and 18 are two tough holes as well. So, I mean, you really have to, you know, you got to make it, make your score on you know, 11, 14, and 15 are the holes on the back nine, which really need to do. Rory, do you feel like it's a pretty good preview for the U.S. Open in terms of it's really hot, the rough's long, it's thick? And, and apparently the, the fairways are really running on you guys and the greens are getting very fast. Yeah, it is. It is a, um, I don't think the fairways will be quite as generous or congressional as they are here. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, this golf course is always set up well. And, you know, you can still make a few birdies out here. I mean, I think congressional is going to be a little tougher. But, you know, with the rough and the, and the heat and stuff, it's surely pretty similar. I had a lot of guys say that they're, they're hitting two iron or, or three wood off a lot of tees that they'd normally hit driver just so they can't keep it to stay in the in the fairway that they're running through. Did you have any of those issues? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a few holes where, you know, 17 is a tough tee shot for, I think, for all of us because it's 260 to carry that bunker, you know, sort of facing you. And then, you know, it's 300 to run out on the bunkers either side of the fairway. So, I mean, it, you don't have much of a much of an area to sort of land in and keep it in. So that, that that's a really tricky tee shot. I find that pretty, pretty tough this week. Laurie, can you talk about your... Can you talk about your training, what you, how you train for a match or before a round? And uh, do you use the PGA facility, the semi that they set up here? Um, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I don't really. I mean, I'll do a few dynamic stretches before I go out, but that's that's basically it. Um, I don't. I feel the best way to warm up for golf is to hit golf shots. You know, so. Are you a guy who likes to do the weights and all that, though? At yeah, all? yeah. I mean, I've been in the gym quite a lot, but um, you know, I won't do it the morning of it. You know, I'll do it, you know, after I play or, or something like that. So I'll let my body recover for, for going out and playing on the golf course. Um, do you remember how many fibers you had out there? Would you kind of have, like pull yourself back a while out there? Um, I did. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Three hours and five hours and three hours. Yeah, did you go for any of the parkours and try driving that one parkour? No, I didn't try much driving. No, I just, I didn't think it was worth the risk, especially with the pin position. It seems like you, are you playing like a little more conservatively this week here? Um, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to play, you know, I felt last year I, I made a few silly mistakes and I've tried to change my strategy a little bit. I mean, I don't think I'm playing still say I'm pretty aggressive, but yeah, conservative on holes where you don't think that the risk is, is worth taking. So you would say that you're kind of like, how would you sum up your strategy like in one sentence? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think, I'll, you know, you, you need to pick the right time to be aggressive, you know, so, you know, I'm, you know, I'm conservative on some holes, but you just need to really pick the right time and, you know, select the right pin positions where you can get aggressive with it and, you know, go for it. Thanks. Thanks Thank you.